Hey folks, this is Gene from Regular Guy Mountain Biking, and in this video, we're going to talk about the topic of hiding multi-tools in your mountain bike. Hey folks, this is Gene from Regular Guy Mountain Biking, where we talk about all kinds of fun and cool things that have to do with mountain bikes, and of course, home of the Regular Guy Mountain Biking Bike Chat Show. In this video, I wanted to talk to you about a you know, little bit of an odd topic, but um, the idea of hiding multi-tools in different areas of your bike. I was just, you know, doing the internet thing, looking for some stuff to talk about, and I found a couple articles on, on companies that are making products, multi-tools, that can be hidden in different areas of your bike. So I was just curious, do any of you folks do that, or are you using any of these products? Let me give you a couple of the ones that I found, and you know, you can give me your opinions on the idea and if you've used any of these tools. There's um, a couple big, big names out there that, that do this. Uh, one of them is actually specialized. I mean, that's a, that's a pretty big, pretty big bike company. And they make a tool called the, the Top Cap Chain Tool. You're going to find a lot, of, a lot of these companies are using the, um, the, 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 the tube, the, um, the stem of your bike, the steerer tube, if you will, to hide tools. There's a couple of them, and I'll give you a couple of, um, couple of different options I found out there. One's, one's specialized. Okay, and they have a chain tool that they can stick in there. Another unique one that was, that was recently released, or I think still, still coming out, by a company called 1UP Components. You may have heard of 1UP because of their chain rings. Well, um, or they have that uh, cassette extender to, to make uh, the one buys a little easier to pull off. Anyway, uh, they've got a, a multi-tool that goes inside the stem as well and has a whole bunch of different little, little features on it. That, 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 was, that was pretty cool too. But they're not the only ones that do that. Um, what was the other one called? Um, Rugged Components. Rugged Components, they have one too that fits inside of the, of the steerer tube. So a lot of companies are using the steerer tube as a way of hiding, not hiding because you're trying to hide it from anybody, but easily carrying multi-tools with you. And then I found some other companies that use some other unique ideas. Pedros, they have something called the Tulio, and that's a little chain tool that you would replace the skewer on your bike. You know, it wouldn't work for through axles, but you'd replace the skewer on your bike and put a multi-tool, the, the multi-tool is the lever that's, that's on the skewer. So, you know, kind of neat. And uh, Topeak, Topeak, again, pretty big company, they've got a whole entire Ninja line out with all kinds of different products that can hide in your bike. Uh, they go in the, the, the bar ends and some go in your, uh, the, the water bottle. Um, I think I even saw one that goes for on, 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 the, uh, on, on the seat tube. So like, that's a pretty big company. They have an entire line called uh, the Ninja line. And finally, probably the most uh, unique one I found was this called, I think it's called, all, it's called the All-In Multi-Tool. That's a multi-tool that gets hidden inside of the bottom bracket of your bike. So you have to have a bottom bracket with the, with the howl uh, center. But it's a multi-tool and you slide it right inside of the bottom bracket. That was probably the most unique one I've seen out of everybody's. So I just wanted to ask you folks, um, why would you use something like this? I mean, I've got a bunch of bikes, so I don't know if this is going to work or not. I'd have, to have a, I'd have to have a ton of these things all over the place. Though, on the other hand, you know, if you just want to take your bike out and just go for a quick little loop and don't want to bring your backpack and all your stuff, it might be kind of nice to have a multi-tool with you all the time. I don't know. I'm, I'm asking you. Would you use a tool like this, and what would the circumstance be? Is it good for a racer? Uh, is it good for just the casual dude that wants to ride around and wants to make sure they have a, a multi-tool with them? Um, that's the question. Are you using any of these too? Uh, are you using any of these tools either? If you have, you know, give us your, your notes down below. Uh, have I missed any? Maybe you're using one that I didn't mention. I don't know. I just thought it was a pretty cool topic. I love gadgets, and I wanted to ask you folks about it. That's all I got for you on this video. If you have any thoughts, you know, just leave some notes on, on the bottom down there. In the meantime, you know, please subscribe to the channel, like this video if you enjoyed it, and um, check out some of the other videos that I've got available for you over here to watch. Gene from Regular Guy Mountain Biking. Keep the party on the pedals, my friends. Hope you're having a great day, and I'll catch you in the next video.